hello youtube welcome back to my video uh, this is the JSO tutorial part 6 so in this tutorial uh, we'll be checking uh, how to implement uh, implicit navigation in a JSO web project so let's go step by step here we go so I'll be showing uh, two methods uh, to implement uh, your navigation in a JSO project like this uh, if I click index should uh, return to index page if I click about us page it is going to about us page and same way if I click contact page it is going to contact page so I'll be showing this how to do this step by step okay let me uh, let me create a project now so I'm starting Java web application click next and uh, I'm the giving a name as uh, implicit uh, navigation implicit nav uh, so just click next all of this I am selecting as default click next and uh, server is Apache Tomcat click next and I'm selecting Java server faces and all others are uh, by default I'm proceeding click finish so it will take some time to create your first project wait for that so in this video I'll be showing a simple uh, way which you can use uh, in your project and in my next video I'll be showing a, a better way in your a uh, big project you will have to go like that in big project the code size will, will be a more so to manage that you will have to arrange your navigation part so in as a separate module i'll show you how in next video now i'm going to create in my web page uh, this is my index html i'm create a new uh, json page uh, i'm giving the name as uh, about us page and uh, this page and same way I'm creating uh, another uh, page again uh, the name is uh, um, contact this page okay I have created uh, two more pages first is index page and the contact this page and about this page now in the index page uh, I am uh, giving a heading as uh, to in this I am this is index page I given an heading now let me give this in a center tile for better viewability and same way I am just uh, copying the same thing in my uh, contact us page and updating is uh, contact page and uh, here in my about us page no in, in my index page no sorry I have uh, done a mistake this is about us page about page okay now in the index page uh, I am giving a small uh, form here so it will be h colon form and just send it so inside this I am giving a command button it's uh, colon command button I'm giving uh, a value here now in the value I'm uh, giving it as index and same way uh, here in value I'm giving uh, as uh, about about us and here I am giving contact now in the action just specify the name of the table I mean the, the name of uh, um, the page and in index just give index and in contact uh, just give contact contact this page okay so uh, the basic uh, navigation is set here now let me copy this to all pages and uh, now in contact this page I'm copying that index page uh, about this page I'm copying the same now let's try running this and uh, see how it looks now uh, to run the project I'm going to the index page and click uh, run file and let's see the output 
okay the project has run here you can see this is the index page if i click this it will remain in the index page and if i click about us uh, it will go to about page and uh, if i click in contact page contact button it will go to the contact so this is the first method and uh, we have not used the manage bin here we have just given a form and we are just redirecting uh, the pages now i'll show you uh, to do this using manage bin so for that i am uh, going to my source packages creating a new uh, java package name i am giving it as com.chillyfax.com so inside this i am giving uh, creating a js of manage bin the name of uh, uh, the manage bin i am giving it as nav controller just click finish okay i have created uh, my uh, js of uh, manage bin now i am going to uh, create uh, three functions here to three methods so i am uh, giving it as uh, public uh, return type is string uh, i am giving the name as uh, go to index page go to index and uh, i am not taking any parameters and uh, i am just returning return uh, index return the string index and same way what is the problem here yes yeah, spelling is wrong yeah and in the same way i'm creating two more uh, methods mm, go to about and uh, return the string as the same it should return the same name of uh, the page and same way go to contact and same way uh, it should return to the same uh, it should give the same uh, string name of, of that now i'm going to my index uh, here here we have taken the uh, action as uh, the same uh, index.xhtml and the name of uh, uh, the page now here i'm giving uh, has a chess of uh, manage bean uh, function so for that just give the tags here and just give uh, nav controller dot uh, go to index and um, just copy pasting the same thing here also okay i have uh, updated all the three uh, values here now go back to my project let me refresh it i am not sure it will work or not let me refresh yes it's not working so we'll have to check what is this let me uh, restart the project no it's not working so we'll have to check uh, what is the issue mm, yes sometimes this may be the issue i'll have to remove uh, the braces let me refresh yes so there is no need of braces for that uh, function so it's loaded uh, let's try uh, run click in the contact us page contact us yes it's going to contact us page so going back to index and i'm just clicking about it is uh, going to about page now let me update this form in all the three pages so it will be same in all pages the way we are accessing there let me refresh yes okay so if i'm clicking index it is index about is about a page and contact is contact us page so this is how uh, you can uh, implement this in uh, using js of manage bean so i'll be sh i'll show uh, one more trick here uh, as you can see uh, this uh, form is uh, same in all pages and we are writing the same thing in all different pages we don't need to write uh, like that in all pages we can just write uh, this form in separate uh, js of page and include that js of in all these three uh, web pages so let's try that so for that i'm just going to create a new js of page and uh, giving the name as uh, tab dot xhtml so i have created tab dot xhtml so i'm just copying this form into the body of uh, this uh, tab dot xhtml now uh, i'm going to import this in this uh, section this form section so for that 
we'll have to use uh, the facelet uh, tag library which uh, uh, we have to import that in the head section so the code is this one so I'm just copying that to the head section here now you can see it's a UI uh, referenced as UI and it's uh, the faceless tag so in here I am just importing that page and uh, the code is uh, uh, UI include SRC so just copy that uh, page uh, this code here and paste it here so we have successfully imported uh, the tab.xstml uh, in this uh, page index.xstml page now uh, we have to test this so for that I'm going to back to my project again let me refresh yes it's working so we have successfully imported uh, the page uh, in uh, the tab.xstml in the index uh, page and it's working perfectly now let me copy uh, the same src in all uh, pages yes we have to import the, uh, the tag library also let me copy the tag library information copy it and uh, paste it in these uh, two pages okay and uh, yes it, we have successfully done it now going back to the project again we can see uh, the tag uh, it's imported in all pages you can see and let me go out and refresh the project yes it's working perfectly and uh, no errors at all so this is how you can do in bigger projects because in bigger projects as the code is uh, very big you have to manage this uh, in, in uh, the navigation in a separate tab uh, page uh, because of this you can add it will be easier to add a new page to your tab and do any modification in your tab okay so that's all for now uh, how to do implicit navigation in JSOP. if you have any doubt on this uh, please comment below I'll be helping you and uh, please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching i'll be sharing my source code in the description you can have it and thanks for watching bye